We're now going to move on to beam dismount, starting with punch fronts. The appropriate takeoff position for the front is to be on releve, one foot in front of the other, bottom squeezing so the hips are pushing forward, arms slightly pulled back, and a tight arch. We're going to do that same position from a run, punching off the beam onto a pit. Aggressive punch. Good. They want to be quick on the takeoff. Punch. Good. Now we're going to do that same takeoff moving into the front flip. Arms pull back, straight up, and tuck. By doing it up to the pit, the gymnasts are learning to be aggressive in the run, aggressive in the hurdle, and aggressive in the flip. Pull back. Good. You can do this drill with the pike front and the layout front as well. Now we're going to move into back dismounts. At level 7 and 8, they can cartwheel. And we're going to perform a nice jump, making sure we're straight off the back of the beam. Again, being aggressive in the snap down, pulling the inner thigh in. Kayla's going to back walk over. Aggressive back foot and jump. Good. You want to try to create a nice punching position here by pulling that back foot in while staying on releve so that it's a nice quick flip. Stephanie's going to cartwheel from a hurdle, picking up some speed and jump. Very nice. And Maddie's going to back walk over. So a little too close to the end. You can see she had the pike down a little bit. So we'll move her back a little bit so she can stretch that out. We're now going to move into flipping the dismount. First, we're going to start with a standing back tuck off the end. Have Coach Derek spot just in case. We don't want him to bounce back and hit the balance beam. Quick flip. Good. And Kayla, we'll do this. Set up. Good. Good. Now we're going to move into the connection, the back walk over to the back tuck. By tumbling up to the pit, we're just helping the athletes be aggressive, learning to have a quick jump off the beam and a quick flip. Very nice. Dana's going to cartwheel back tuck. The important part about the connection here at the dismount is, again, pulling the back leg in, squeezing the inner thigh, just like we did in the flight series. Good. Another important aspect about beam dismounts is that the girls see their feet on the punch, whether they're doing a step down from a cartwheel back walkover or a round off.